Max pleaded guilty today to their involvement in a brutal homicide in St. Bernard, but the family isn't satisfied with the case being over. We just feel like justice isn't completely served. Nine on your side, Scott Wagner was in court and has the story. One by one, they faced the judge. And one by one, James Kirby, Chastity Brewer, and Mario Lewis pleaded guilty to their involvement in the brutal beating death of 73-year-old Carl Engel. Engel's battered body was found in his home in St. Bernard a year ago. Police say Kirby and Lewis broke into his home for a burglary that went bad. Kirby was handed the stiffest sentence, 27 years. Brewer, who helped destroy evidence of the crime in a cemetery, was handed seven years. And Lewis? 14 years in the Department of Corrections. The suspects bypassed a trial for a plea deal, something the family believes meant for a lighter sentence. We just feel like justice isn't completely served. The, the whole process of plea deals and all this ridiculous legal maze to get to these convictions is, um, is a travesty. Both Cynthia Keeler and Brian Engel let their frustrations be known before each sentencing. He's only getting a deal because he agreed to tell the story. My dad was beat over 15 times with multiple weapons throughout the house. Lewis took issue with the family's anger in front of Judge Nadine Allen. Without me speaking up, you wouldn't have known the truth to the whole case scenario. What they know, sir, is that their father is dead and was killed and that you participated. The family says they hope to change the laws about plea deals so no one has to have the kind of conversations they're dreading with their own children. One day I'm going to have to explain to her why she doesn't get to meet her grandpa and, and all the evil and bad people in the world and I'm not looking forward to that conversation. Scott Wagoner, 9 on your side, Cincinnati.